So, hi guys. We just uh, arrived in beautiful Cape Town. As you can see, our boards are still in one piece, so that's a good thing. But, you know, as you know, airlines travel, they do sometimes arrive damaged. Now, the good thing is our boards, the foam is 100% waterproof. So if you have little dings, you can actually just go out and ride. You really do not have to start fixing them straight away. But um, if you eventually you still want to fix it. So to help you guys out a little bit, we made this video explaining how to do small dings in both fiberglass and carbon fiber surfboards. So you will require the following tools and materials. You'll need some epoxy resin, preferably for surfboards. So it's not yellow tinted, but uh, any epoxy resin will do. Make sure not to use polyester resin on our boards. Now this stuff is micro balloons. It's used for thickening the epoxy and making it stay in place while it hardens. We use some black pigment in case of the carbon repair to match the color of the blackboard. Some mixing cups, a bit of painter's tape. Now this stuff is important, it's plastic foil. Um, you can use almost any plastic foil that you have laying around, uh, as long as it's not the cling film, so it should be non-sticking plastic foil, but even like a cookie wrapper will do in this case. It's just to uh, make the repair much easier. Okay. Some sandpaper, in, in our case we're using 80, 100, 180, 320, 400 grit, just to make it really smooth. And then optionally some matte clear coat spray uh, to even to blend in the repair even more. So here we go. So this board has uh, damage as if it hits two rocks. It has two yeah. small damages next to next to each other. They look similar, but the one on the left, the glass actually cracked. You can feel the crack with your uh, if you wrap it with your with your fingernail. The one on the left looks bad, but our boards are really strong and this is actually only optically. Uh, as long as the, the spot is not soft, so you can push it with your thumb, it's not soft, it does not require immediate re repair. But while we're doing the other one, we'll also fill this a little bit. So. so let's start with the real damage. So take a really strong, sharp knife and carefully start removing all of the loose bits of fiberglass. You will always need to make the hole bigger than it was. This is a bit... It feels a bit strange, but you really need to make sure that all the loose bits are removed. So you're actually making the, the hole quite a bit bigger. As you can see here, I remove quite a bit of loose material and then I also dig out a bit of the foam underneath. This is to give the epoxy something to hold on to and actually sort of seep in behind the solid outside so it doesn't fall out and it stays, uh, stays in place. After you are sure that you have removed all the loose bits, blow away the dust and give the whole thing a good sand with, uh, with some really rough sandpaper also inside the, inside the hole and around the repair. Don't go too far because uh, every uh, bit that you sand with a rough sandpaper will leave very nasty scratches that you will have to fill after. So try to sand only uh, just a small perimeter around the, around the hole. So for this carbon board, it's the same. In this case, someone dropped something heavy on the board. Uh, it might have actually been me with a hammer, but I guess we'll never know. Anyway, it's a nasty hole that needs fixing. This is on the larger side uh, and usually would require some reinforcement and some carbon fiber. But because of the location on the deck, it's not a um, structural part of the board and the rest of the laminate in our boards is really, really strong. So we even fix this without using uh, carbon fiber, but just with, uh, with epoxy. So again, we remove all the loose bits. In this case, the whole patch is loose, so we're gonna remove the whole patch. Again, dig out some foam, uh, send the, ex the edges of the, of the hole in and outside. So it's nice and rough and gives the epoxy something to stick. So now for the filling part. We're going to take some plastic film. Uh, like I said before, I use this LDPE plastic foil here, but you can use any film. And I cut a square piece, not a round, cut a square piece about two to three times the size of the hole. It's easiest if two sides are straight and sort of parallel to each other. I put some tape on the edge and stick it on one side next to the hole, as you can see we do here then again the same process for the carbon board so this uh, plastic we're gonna wrap 
around the repair when it's filled and this will keep the epoxy inside of the hole and it doesn't drip out so it's uh, much much easier and a whole lot of less sanding uh, needed afterward. So we're going to mix our epoxy now. This is a two part epoxy resin as always. Um, we try to mix this epoxy by weight. Uh, usually on the epoxy it will tell you the ratio in weight and in volume. Um, I always recommend using weight if you can because it's just way more uh, accurate than, uh, than measuring by volume. So you'll need a, a sort of decent scales to, to weigh them out. So mix the epoxy super well and then we start adding the micro balloons. So micro balloons is like an ultralight filler. It's white color so it will uh, make your epoxy white and not see through anymore. What it does, it thickens the epoxy. So the more you add, the thicker your epoxy get. You can get it to like from, from like a yogurt consistency to almost like a peanut butter consistency where it will actually stay. Um, what it also does, it makes the repair much, much easier to sand afterwards. So you really want to put this in. It actually comes in most of the standard repair kits that you can get from your local surf shop. So you start with about the same volume as your epoxy mix. Now slowly mix this in. Don't over stir it because you'll mix in a lot of air that will uh, create bubbles in your repair that you have to fill afterwards. So just get it smooth. In this case we were looking for that yogurt-like consistency, maybe a bit thicker, so it's a bit thicker so it stays in the hole a bit better. And now for the carbon filler I'll use some black pigment, this helps uh, hiding the repair of course. If you, if you put a, a white repair in a blackboard it doesn't look nice, so some few drops of pigment make it black. And back to the board, I'm going to smear in the epoxy into the hole, make sure that you really push it into all the cracks using your finger or a wooden stirring stick make sure that the epoxy is all the way in there and then try to top off the hole just like smear it in so it's slightly more than uh, than needed to fill the hole now get your plastic foil hold it by two edges and pull it straight and tightly over the repair and stick it down with some tape so the neater you do this now, the easier the sanding will be uh, later. If you make a mistake or you have some trapped air, just, just remove it. Maybe remove a little bit of the uh, epoxy stuff with a, with a cloth and, uh, and do it again. So now the repair is ready to cure. So depending on the epoxy, the cure time varies. I always take at least 24 hours to make sure the epoxy is really hard. So magically we are now into the next day, it's time to remove the foil. So we remove the plastic foil and you see that it, the repair is actually all, already quite nice. Uh, we're going to carefully send away all the uh, excess epoxy mix. Be careful that you don't sand too much in the original shell of the board. And uh, the same for the carbon repair. Well, as you can see with the glass board here, there's still a small dent around the rail when you pull the plastic foil tight. Uh, it usually leaves a little dent, so to make it nice, uh, it will require another fill. So we're just going to do that. We're just going to rough it up a little bit and give it another, another fill and we'll cover it with another piece of, uh, of the plastic as well. Uh, unfortunately, in this carbon board, there is two big air bubbles, so the epoxy was probably not seeped all the way into the repair, so uh, the, the bubbles did come up. Um, so also this one needs another fill. So we're going to make a really small patch, uh, add a few drops to the fiberglass board, then add some black pigment and also fill it in the, in the carbon board. And we have to wait for another 24 hours. So here we are again, the epoxy is cured again, it's time to finish the repair, just remove the tape. As you can see, everything is properly filled. Now just slowly sand the whole thing back to its original shape. And when you get close to the final shape, go down in sandpaper to avoid uh, heavy scratching. So I start with like this 100 grits, then I go 180, 320, 400, and then usually I stop at 400. If you want to, you can also do some 600 to make it even smoother. Just rub it with your finger the whole time. Make sure you, uh, you actually your fingers are the best way to feel if your shape is correct and if you still have lumps or dents. You keep sanding until it's uh, until you're happy with the repair. And you can see that in the colored boards, 
sometimes it's very hard to mix the to mix the ratio right so you, the the, um, the the black in the carbon is not exactly the same as the black of the carbon i am happy with this but yeah you could try to match it a, a little better now as a final option and this is very optional uh, you can spray the area with some matte clear coat in this case i use this uh, this uh, brand that is uh, normally for uh, for graffiti uh, it leaves it just fills the the last final scratches and it makes the repair less visual visible and especially you won't feel it feel it that much there you have it that's your uh, repair video hope you've learned something um, ready to ride again uh, hope to see you in the next video make sure to subscribe to our channel we've got a lot of really cool tech talk videos coming up this year so uh, see you out on the water cheers